Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you guys your weekend reading. We're going to tap into your energy this week and see what's coming towards you in love. But guys, before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click on that notification bell so you can be notified when I post new readings. If you are a returning subscriber, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, Sagittarius. As you all know, my readings are meant to be timely general love readings, so it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does. Leave the rest behind. As you all know, time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. Don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And there is no gender in tarot, guys, so please reverse the roles as need be. If you would like to book a personal reading, I have all the information in the description box below, so please go ahead and do so and contact me via email. The turnaround time for personal readings right now are at 24, within the next 24 hours, okay? All right, guys, let's get started here. Sagittarius, I went ahead and I pulled your oracle card. And at the head of your reading, I got finger pointing. There's going to be some type of conversation this week and possibly some arguments, okay, guys? Our partners reflect our wounds. Relationships mirror what we are. Finger pointing, take responsibility. Something's going on between you and your current partner. Or your past partner where you guys are definitely just arguing and pointing the finger towards each other. Seeing what the hell is going on and who's at fault here. But we're going to go ahead and clarify this, okay? Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is coming towards my Sagittarius this weekend in love? Can you please clarify this finger pointing? What is going on with my Sagittarius in love? There's something that you and your person have been going through that you're refusing to, uh, to release, okay? Someone's trying not to release something. Or you might be releasing and the other person isn't, okay? They're still holding on to past grudges. But you're re you're prepared to release it. You're like, you don't want to deal with the past anymore. I feel that you're sick and tired. That's what I just heard. What else, universe, for Sagittarius? Wow. Your person is not trying to release uh, toxic behaviors. This person thinks that what they do is okay, that anything that they do is right, and everything you do is wrong. That's why you guys are always having these arguments. Somebody wants to have a new beginning in this connection, a clear new beginning, okay? They want to have this conversation where things can be cleared up to have this new beginning, but somebody's refusing to release those toxic behaviors or thoughts. What else? What else do you notice here for Sagittarius? Someone's making some type of offer here. It might be a small offer to try to reconcile, possibly offering a chance to to go to therapy maybe but somebody is refusing to they're being standoffers they're not trying to hear you they're not trying to listen to what you're saying you you're you feel like you're running out of options here you're running out of options to fix to fix this connection because at the beginning you seen this person as a wish fulfillment you wanted to have all this love that was in the connection before okay but it's no longer there with the nine of cups in the reverse you see this as um and not necessarily a missed opportunity but you, you see everything like in the past, you're like, well, this person doesn't want to fix anything, so I'm just going to let it go. And I think that you're starting to get into this energy where you no longer want to work on this connection. That's where you guys are starting to point the finger at each other. This is because of you we're not here together again. Because of you we're going through this. Because of you, because of your drinking, because of your habits. Because this is what you guys are doing, finger pointing each other. Because in the past, there was a lot of deception with the Five of Swords. There was possibly some cheating. Could be a third party situation here with the Three of Pentacles. Somebody was being very deceptive, lying and hiding things from the other one. With the Eight of Swords, somebody got out of this depression energy. And I feel it's going to be you, Sagittarius. You got tired of dealing with the bullshit. What else, universe here for Sagittarius? What else? What else do we have for Sagittarius? Guys, totally. I feel that the person that you were in a higher level commitment might have been in a third party situation with this Queen of Wands in the reverse. And this person was being very not committed towards you, were being very egotistical, thinking that they could be better with the other person where the grass was green on the other side. But they're blaming you for this. They're like, oh, well, because you let yourself go. Oh, because you didn't do this. Oh, because you didn't clean like this. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Type of shit. So they felt that this connection was not victorious. What other advice? 
what are they going to be screaming? Yeah, this person had an in and out energy with you. This person just came over whenever they felt like it, whenever they felt like they wanted to spend time with you. This person juggled you with many other people. There was many other people in the connection with the Empress in the reverse. I feel that's you. And you got the Emperor here. You guys are soulmates, but right now you guys are definitely not connected in the right level. You guys feel betrayed by each other. You guys feel like it's the other one's fault. So that's why there's a lot of ego being thrown here. Somebody wants to be right forcefully, okay? But with the three of wands here, there's going to be some plan put into motion. Just some someone's waiting for their ships to come in. Either the plan to completely move away from this connection or the plan to go ahead and try to work on this connection because you're ready to release these ten of swords. You don't want to think about the past. You don't want to think about the deception. You don't want to think about the bullshit. You don't want to fight about that anymore. Okay. You're done with it. Okay. With the Queen of Swords, you're going to be very clear as to what you communicate to this person this weekend. Okay. And this is going to come out of nowhere. There's going to be some very clear communication. Either your person or yourself is going to come in and say exactly what went wrong, what that they don't like in this connection because they're ready to drop this. They're ready to close this chapter, okay? There's going to be a lot of disclosure about the Seven of Swords where somebody was stealing, um, being deceptive, dealing with other people. Wh whatever it is that they were doing, it's going to be cleared up this weekend because the day has come with the judgment here and the upright. The day is here ready to get this all these things clarified between you and this person. And you're tired of waiting with the strength here. You're tired of waiting with the hangman. You want to you wanna release this already. Either we're going to work on it or we're not going to work on it, okay? But look at with the moon in the reverse. Yep, there's a lot of things that still need to be conversed here with you and this person. With the death and the upright, things are going to be coming to an end in order to open the door into, an, uh, into a new beginning. What other advice do we have here for Sagittarius Universe? The Queen of Cups. There is a lot of love in this connection, guys. There is a lot of stability with the Queen of Pentacles. This is the way this person sees you. They want to rush over to you. They want to be able to fix this with you. With the Nine of Wands, they don't want to give up on this connection. And I feel that that's your same energy here. The decisions being made this weekend to open up this communication, to start communicating. Messages are going to be coming. Conversations, conversations are going to be happening at a rapid pace here. With the Six of Swords, this is on its way as we speak right now because somebody is ready to mend this four of wands. They're ready to mend their home. They're ready to bring the stability back at home because ultimately at the end of the day, they want to be happy with you. You make them happy. They want to be happy with you. Oh, wow. They want to take this leap of faith, guys. They're not sure if you're going to accept the leap of faith, if you're going to allow them back into the circle, guys. But they want to really make that leap of faith. They know that they're going to come in here blindfolded and it could go either way. You can tell them, how the fuck now? Get out of here. Oh, yes. I want to work on this. And with the Ten of Cups, they want happiness again. They want a happy home, a happy life, a happy wife. And with the Ace of Cups, they're going to come in here and offer you a new beginning in love. Okay. Let's go ahead and get you some romance advice here from the romance angels and we can go ahead and close out your reading guys getting to know each other again oh that's fucking crazy you guys are gonna have a conversation starting to get to get to know each other again okay as you reveal your inner innermost selves to each other your bond deepens what else what other advice do we have for the universe release your ex time has come to clear the energy guys you got to release the past person that this person was or cross watchers you got to release the way that your person used to be okay and free yourself it's time to take back control of your life, guys, okay? It's time for you to start getting some control in this connection. Either you guys are going to go to therapy and try to work on this connection, or you're just going to let it go out together and keep it moving. All right, guys, I hope this resonates for you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. If you want to book a personal reading, guys, the information is in the description box below. Take care, and God bless. Bye-bye.